This is an artist's home, and this is the way that an artist lives. So the story of Ray is that he needed to be surrounded by these evocative, inspiring artworks and objects in order to ignite a practice that lasted the way that it did. The John Michael Kohler Art Center is known for their collection of vernacular art environment builders, artists that, through a highly personal response to their environment and the vernacular, create these spectacular, awe-inspiring environments. Wherever possible, we really like to take the whole environment so that we're telling the whole entire story. The best known artists coming out of Chicago in the 20th century were all students of Rei Yoshida. The Chicago Imagist credit Yoshida for this idea of metamorphosis, so that you look at an object, you see it for what it was, you bring it into your home, you place it next to something completely different, and the identity changes. Looking at these objects triggers something in you. You're undoing an identity that this object previously had. And in that kind of liminal space is where creativity lies. I hope that people leave with more questions than answers. I hope they see something that triggers a memory that actually creates their own kind of experience, the way that Ray would have inspired his students to do. And that you really get to see the way that an artist lives.